to get to Jim here in Apopka. Jim, tell us what's going on with your Subaru, buddy. Hello, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. I have a 2015 Subaru Impreza with 17,000 miles, and when I took my, uh, to the shop for the last oil change, they told me I needed to replace my leaking struts, and I'm skeptical of this. I told them it only had 17,000 miles, and they told me that it had failed due to age at seven and a half years. Uh, the car drives the same as it always has, and I'm wondering if there's anything I can check out to see if this is uh, square, or if they're just trying to sell some extra equipment. Yeah, um, Jim. You know, listen. I, with without me actually seeing it, I would. Um, I, I really wouldn't want to comment one way or the other. But I will tell you this: to see a vehicle with seventeen thousand mile on it needing struts would be. Um, well, let me let me just put it to you like this: It would raise all kinds of red flags with me as well. Um, you know, age has a lot to do with a lot of things, but you know, struts and shocks are things that you rarely ever have an issue with because of age. Um, you know, the only thing a shock can do, uh, it can wear out. You know, which isn't your case. The other thing is, is that they can leak the oil out of them, or if they leak all the gas charge out of them, uh, when you would come to a stop, the front end would be bouncing up and down, literally. Uh, you know, it wouldn't have any rebound to it. It would just sit there and want to bounce. Um, you know, and, and you've already said you're not really experiencing any, any problems with it, and it doesn't seem to drive any different from the day that you bought it. You know, Jim, and I, I, you know, I wouldn't want to think that somebody was out there just blatantly trying to take advantage of you. But unfortunately, th there is in, in the automotive repair industry, and and you know, this just isn't for you. This is for anybody listening to the Magic Mechanics Show. You know, I, I've I've been in a situation where I've always done my absolute best to try to make sure that everything was 100% diagnosed correctly and above board. And if there was ever a problem, you know, that customer is the one that gets taken care of first because he's already come in and entrusted you to, you know, work on his car and you paid him good money to fix it. But and, and there's some shops that are and, and, and folks that are not like that. And, and, and in this day and age, you have a lot of uh, places that do automotive repair and that, that sort of thing. And what they do is they'll give not only technicians but service riders and, and, and other folks uh, just unrealistic goals to meet, to, to basically try to keep their job. And so, you know, it, it breeds a, an environment to where, you know, uh, these folks may actually try to sell you something that you you don't need, you know, and, and, and it's usually the quick stuff. It's usually they're going to try to sell you brakes for some reason or other or, or, or struts or shocks because those are those are plentiful and they can slap them on a car pretty quick. You know, uh, a lot of other things you got to be careful with is services um, like um, cooling system services and things like that. When it comes to those types of things, I, I try to tell folks, you know, get get your owner's manual out and, and go through it and look and see what the suggested services are for that vehicle. Uh, you know, I, I get emails all the time from folks that, you know, they'll take a car in for an oil change and they'll, they'll email me and they'll say, well, they want to sell me a $279 uh, induction service, you know, and I'm like, you know, and here's a car, and and then then they'll go ahead and they'll keep telling you that they just had it done the last oil change, and then they're they're like, well, the the dealer is trying to sell them this again at the next oil change, and, and these are services that are not supposed to be done that periodically to start with. If they're having to do them that periodically, then there's something wrong with the car. Um, so you know, the, the the best thing that I could tell you, Jim. Is to get a second opinion on this. Um, you know, take it by another shop. Uh, you're more than welcome. You're in a popka. You're not far from Magic Mechanic. You can bring it in. I'll have the guys take a quick look at it. Not charge you a penny just to tell you what you really do have going on with it. 
Um, and, and then if you need them, I mean, I guess we'd tell you that you need them. But, but you know, it would be highly unlikely on a 17,000-mile car, regardless, especially it only being, you know, 2023, that's eight years. But but has got no wear and tear on it, you know. And, and struts, struts are things that, you know, they're pretty durable. You know, they're made to last a long time. The manufacturer puts them on there in hopes they'll last the life of the vehicle. So unless you just get some lousy ones that the manufacturer used to start with, you know, they're, they're, they're probably okay, you know. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, we're getting ready to break here for the three big things, and I hope that gives you something to think about. But, Jim, also, when you look in your uh, service manual uh, for the recommended maintenance and services, also keep in mind that uh, age does have a factor on some things. And, and, and off the top of my head, uh, brake fluid service, if it's never been done, probably should be flushed and filled. And the cooling system, due to the age, I would probably consider doing that. And make sure whoever looks underneath the hood inspects the hoses and belts. Not that I suspect there's anything wrong with them, but, but just because of the age, just make sure they're all in good shape as well. I appreciate your call, Jim, and we hope the best for you, buddy. Hey, folks. Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.